to the UVM Horse Barn, officially known as the LNA Hardacre Equine Center. This facility was built in 1999 by a private donation and is home to the UVM Horse Barn Cooperative, the UVM Dressage Team, as well as a place where a lot of our animal science students come and learn and practice on horses. I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our facility and please come visit if you're ever in Burlington, Vermont. The UVM barn itself is an H-shaped barn, which means that it has two long aisles, like the one pictured here, as well as two short aisles connecting them. The barn is constructed out of wood on the inside and metal on the outside, both on the siding as well as on the roof. On the southern roof, we have solar panels, which provide us with enough energy to run the horse barn. Above each stall, you'll notice that there are numbers on the stall doors. Here we've got stall 15 and stall 14. These are really important for our overall organization and help us keep everything um, the same as far as the cubbies in the tack room and the feed bins in the feed room. We have 12 pastures total with seven two acre pastures up here at the top closest to Spear Street. Each of these pastures holds anywhere between two and three horses. Further down, we have two smaller pastures, and then the farthest pastures away, close to the interstate over there, are bigger three to four acre pastures where we put our horses when the weather's nicer. Our fencing is electric rope, it's got solar chargers, and it keeps the horses separated and safe. This is the UVM horse barn from the north side. The part here on the right is where all of the stalls are, tack room, feed room, and then down there on that end is our indoor arena. This is the long north side of our barn. As you can see in between the siding and the grass, there's about eight feet of asphalt. We did this intentionally. It goes all the way around the barn. It is a deterrent to rodents because the rodents that live over there in the grass and in the pastures don't love running across the asphalt. So this helps us keep those guys from coming inside of our barn. Here's one of our long aisles in our H-shaped barn. You can see all the way down on the right-hand side, we have stalls with those sliding doors. Um, on the left-hand side, down on the far end, there's a tack room, there's a heated bathroom, and then the wash stall. And so on this left-hand closest to me, you'll see a couple more stalls, so they only run down um, partial way on this long aisle. You'll see that we have rubber mats on the ground. These are set up to go along with cross ties. So we have eight sets of cross ties in the barn. Um, they're set up so that the horses at this end of the barn, the one closest to me, would be facing the horse on that next set of rubber mats because we never want horses hind ends to be facing each other. Instead, we have them facing um, each other, which prevents horses from getting themselves into trouble when standing on the cross ties. And the rubber mats just provide them with better footing. Um, the, the barn itself, the footing here in the aisles is asphalt, so just pavement, and it can be kind of slippery. So when the horses are standing on the cross tie, we like to give them a little bit more secure footing um, when we're grooming them, tacking them up, working on them, and so forth. Here's a typical stall at our barn. It has a nice sliding door with bars on it. The stall door, once it's opened, um, the opening that the horse goes in and out through is four, we uh, four feet in width. If you come into the stall, um, you'll see it's a 12 by 12 stall. It does not have any openings between one stall and the next. Um, we're trying to keep our horses from having their noses too close together. Um, the flooring is big rocks um, for drainage with rubber mats on top. And then we have some wood shaving slash sawdust um, that gets put in. The stalls get cleaned on a daily basis and so our horses when they come in from being outside, are going to be standing on nice, clean bedding. Over here, we've got two five-gallon water buckets that are hung up, as well as a feed tub there in the corner. Um, we do not have um, heated tubs here in this barn, mostly because we don't have enough outlets to keep them all plugged in, and we're concerned about fire. So the students responsible for the horses make sure to dump these buckets um, every day. 
We fill them with warm water. Uh, the water gets done several times a day to make sure that every horse has access to nice clean water. And the feed buckets, you can see there's a little window above so it makes it pretty easy come feeding time for students to dump the grain right in through that hole um, so that they can get to each horse in a timely fashion. We do throw hay, um, evening hay, before horses come in. So you'll see a flake or two in the stalls um, so that when the horses come in from the pasture, they'll have something to munch on before they get their concentrate later. We have 22 stalls here, but the 22nd stall is used as a storage stall. It's where we keep our wheelbarrows, um, where we keep our rolly cart. When the veterinarian comes, they use this um, to put all their stuff on, where we keep our mock mop and extra brooms and then over here we hang up our pitchforks to keep them out of the way. It's nice to have this space um, within a stall just keeps it away from the horses in the aisle um, and keeps everything nice and orderly. Here is the UVM horse barns feed room. As you can see it has a door that slides shut and locks. Once you get closer, you'll see that we have extra bags of grain up on pallets to keep them away from rodents. And then the bags that have been opened are in um, some type of bin, either a rubber bin or a metal bin with a lid, and then are well labeled with what we have inside of them. Up on the shelves are all of the AM and PM grains for each of the horses in the barn. Um, so it makes it really easy come feeding time for whoever's feeding to come and grab um, Wiggle or George's grain and then just throw it um, in their feed bucket in their stall. Same thing over here on this side. And if you look up above, you can see the horse's names with what they're getting for their AM and their PM feed, as well as any supplements that have been added. And as I've mentioned before, all of our stalls have numbers on them, um, which makes it really easy for organization. So you can see each horse's name on the left-hand side with their stall number. And then over here is our supplement shelf. Students are responsible for purchasing their own supplements and labeling them um, and making sure that they haven't expired. This is probably the warmest room in the horse barn. This is the utility room. This is where we've got um, our fire system. In case the barn has a fire, we can put that out pretty quickly. We've got pumps up above both the indoor arena as well as the barn that can spray water down. We've got a hot water heater. We've got our electrical panel. Um, and down here in the center, we have our water tank, which we put in the back of our um, utility vehicle to get water to the outside because we do not have um, water to all of our pastures outside year round. The water gets shut off when the weather gets cold here and so then it's necessary for us to cart the water out twice a day to the horses that are turned out outside. You will note that we are really careful not to store other things in here. Um, we don't store grain in here. We don't store wet blankets in here. They're just a fire hazard so we try to keep it as clean and open as possible to make sure um, that we can get to the things we need when we need them. Like I mentioned before, the barn is H-shaped. So what that means is we have two long aisles with stalls on either side and then two short aisles. This is our most um, eastern aisle. It's a short aisle. And what we use it for is we use it to store blankets. So we use the numbers from the stalls. They're up above, there's hooks, and everybody's allowed to hang two blankets for their horse. Um, on these hooks down here, we have extra storage for blankets up in the hayloft. Over here is the hay that's been thrown down from the hayloft that we're going to be using that day um, as well as a wheelbarrow to distribute the hay to the individual stalls come feeding time. Also in the center aisle is the wash stall. Uh, we encourage students to rinse off muddy legs and dump water buckets outside so that the drain doesn't get clogged. But this is a nice area to hose off a horse if they're hot. You'll see that we have three different water choices over here with our spigots. You can do a hot cold mix, which is on the left. You can do just hot in the middle or cold on the right. So when the temperatures are cold, we make sure to fill those water buckets with a warm water so that they don't freeze and the horses have something palatable to drink when they come inside. In this center aisle you can see some of our organization here. 
We have a landline with emergency numbers posted above it as far as UVM police and fire. We also have important numbers for people um, that students can contact if they have problems. This is our turnout board, which is really handy. Each of our 12 pastures um, is here on this diagram with numbers. And then we have these little pieces with the horses' names on them, so we can show you that Bob gets turned out in pasture five and so forth. Over here, we have what's called our horse watch board. You can see on the left-hand side are all the times from seven o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. The next column is the chore that the student or students are responsible for during that time. And then from Monday to Sunday, you can see that we break it down into different hours that students sign up for based on their class schedule. So the students do all of the work, the turnout, the bring in, the sweeping, the cleaning, the night checks and so forth. Up above the center part of our barn is our hayloft. So here, this store here that slides open is where the hay gets delivered. We use this hay elevator to get it from the truck into the barn. And then we have room for somewhere between six and 800 bales of hay up here. We have a local farmer that uh, brings us delivery several times a year. We use it from um, the front sort of back, so you can see we're getting a little bit low at this time of year, which makes sense because we're getting to the end of the semester. The students will keep this area clean. They'll drop about 10 bales of hay a day that we'll use, um, and then we'll let the farmer know when we need another shipment. Down at the far end, which you can't quite see as well, we use for storage, so students can put their trunks up here. We have extra equipment um, that stays up here, which is nice, it doesn't clog the barn down below. This is our newly purchased utility vehicle that gets used on a regular basis around the farm. Students use it to take water out to the pastures. Over vacation days, when there's two students doing all the stalls, they use it to clean the stalls. We also use it to drag our arena. So over here, you can see the drag that attaches to the back. We use this drag um, at different heights for both our indoor and outdoor arenas. This is our indoor arena, which always looks dark when seen on a camera, but actually has good lighting up above. We uh, replaced all of our halogen lights several years ago with LED lights, so they're very efficient. Uh, the arena itself is 70 feet wide and 110 feet long, and the footing is a combination of dirt and recycled rubber, so it provides a nice cushioning for the horses. At the far end and on both sides, there's doors that open up, which provide us with nice ventilation when the air is a little bit warmer here. And something that you might notice that you don't see at every barn is this metal sort of partition down here at the western end of the arena. This is because we have a lot of visitors to UVM and we teach a lot of classes in this arena. So this just gives us a safe place where people can stand um, and watch the horses work in the arena. On the east side of the barn is our outdoor arena. It is 100 feet wide, 200 feet long. Uh, the footing itself is all sand, and you'll notice that there's a fence around the whole entire thing, which is made out of PVC. This is just a barrier for the horses when they're out there, um, and if somebody happens to fall off, it keeps the horse from getting too far away from them. One of the things that's different about the UVM farm compared to other horse farms is that we share our space with some cows as well. So just south of the horse barn, we have a cow facility and that includes a big arena. It includes a student milking herd. Right here next to the horse barn is the old cream and the old horse barns. Um, right now they're pretty much used for storage. We could use them for isolation if we needed to, if we had a sick horse. And sort of just behind you can kind of see a little concrete bunker. That's where we dump the manure. And then um, the staff that work at the farm actually take that manure, turn it over, um, and then reuse it for bedding for the cows. So we don't have to worry about having our manure picked up or spread somewhere on site. Here on the southeast corner of the barn, we have our shavings shed. We get deliveries several times a year. Once the students dump the manure, then they come over here, get some nice fresh bedding for their horses. We have a cover over it to keep it um, nice and dry and um, the horses seem to enjoy it, it's not too dusty. The last place to show you is the tack room. It's a common meeting area for us. 
Uh, the cooperative and dressage team students meet here on a week weekly basis. The equus classes and other hands-on classes can sometimes have classes down here. Uh, as far as the setup, there are cubbies along the outside. Each horse stall has a corresponding cubby. Again, they're numbered so we know which stall goes with which cubby. And then above each cubby, there's going to be a saddle rack um, where one saddle can be stored. You can see that we have nice uh, open windows so that you can look at what's going on in the indoor arena while you're in here. We have a PA system so we can play the radio or use it when we have events that are here. I hope that you enjoyed the tour of the UVM Horse Farm. Please come and visit us if you're ever in Burlington, Vermont. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with the Department of Animal and Veterinary Sciences. Have a great day and thanks so much.